Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells, and it's Sunday, October 16th, 2022. Tonight's introductory video is going to showcase the TID Radio Model TDH8. This is a VHF, UHF ham radio, and um, it's got some several features on it that I like and I, I'd like to talk about tonight. Tonight's video is going to be a just an overview of the radio, a quick overview. Uh, there's some bugs in this radio that they're still working on with me to get it operational <clears throat> and I'm working with TID Radio on that but I wanted to do this shout out video for them and uh, get it out there um, showing you this radio because I think it's going to be a big player up and coming uh, in the um, budget friendly $100 range radio ham radio field and this is a radio that I think is going to really be successful. Um, it's a up to 10 watts, the radio, which is really good. Um, it features dual monitoring, UHF, VHF frequencies, 11 NOAA channels, color display, the standard Kenwood jack, also for programming via Chirp. Uh, here, once it's on Chirp, that'll be a great upgrade. Uh, battery clasp, and the battery is a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Um, I'll show you that here. This has a latch on it. You could see that here in the video. Pull it down and the battery should pop out, pops out. There's your radio internals, the TDH8. And there's your battery, 3000 milliamp hour, lithium ion battery. Slide it back in and latch it down. Got your welcome screen, you got your front face similar to the Bofang style radios, your scan feature, your menu, your AB, your VFO, and then one thing they have on this, because it's Bluetooth compatible with their OD Master software, which I've done videos on, um, I'll put in the description box, it'll sync up with your OD Master app on your phone, so you could program some frequencies on the fly or away from your base station, which is a good um, feature to have. Your push to talk button, this is IP, I think 67 rated, waterproof. You've got uh, an alarm up here. You've got the flashlight mode with this top button, the blinking mode, and then off. You've got on the side here, the lower button, your FM radio feature that you could set stations on. And you could scan also through the stations. So that's a good feature to have. Okay. Then back to the radio. Again, it goes up to 10 watts. I believe from 0.5 watts to 10 watts. 199 channels. Um, charging port was sent to me. Just a basic charging port. Uh, the radio sets in it kind of on an angle. And then your cord for charging. Your hand cord that I don't have installed. The only thing that came with it, else came with it, was the belt clip that I did install. And then you've got your stock antenna that they sent in. And again, you could change it for a Nagoya or something better if you wanted to. And that's the SMA female. And the male part is on the radio. So you gotta know that when you're buying your antenna. They do have a great Amazon store. Um, again, this radio is beefy, but with the you know, the 3000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, you're going to get at least two days good standby slash runtime with this radio. So again, I'm looking forward to working with TID radio on this. Um, again, it does support the CT CSS, 44 of those, the DCS tones, 210 of those. Uh, it does have dual watch. And again, it's, um, I saw one video on YouTube where the gentleman spoke about um, the UHF band working excellent, like in and around or inside buildings. So that's something I'm looking forward to. I want to see if I could get this radio because of its features and it's 10 watt. It's easy to see screen, color screen. A lot of features I like on this radio uh, to run it as my main radio for prepping or my group. Um, so I want to 
really do an in-depth study on this, test it out, make sure it works well, maybe change out the antenna and um, get it. I did write Chirp, excuse me, I did write TID Radio tonight a note asking them when and if it, it was going to be available to be placed on the Chirp software programming selector guide. Uh, as I checked tonight, it was not on there yet. But TID Radio does have their own software that you can work with, um, which is okay. And they have the OD Master app, Bluetooth app, which is okay. Good features. Uh, but ultimately, it needs to be on Chirp, and that's one of the things I stressed uh, to them. So at around 100 bucks for this radio right now, um, I think it's going to be a big player um, in the uh, ham radio. Also GMRS compatible, I believe. And so looking forward to doing more tests with it, getting it ready to go, and then doing some future videos on it. So tonight was just an uh, introductory, introductory video. Thanks for watching. Place any questions or comments on the radio or any experience you have with it or know anything else about it. Feel free to share it. TID Radio is very willing to work to make things better. I like That's why I like working with them. Uh, very responsive and uh, they want to make things better. So that's great, great news to me. So looking forward to doing more videos uh, for them on this radio. This is Anthony signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay ready.